But I think computer science for me, it's uh, at its say I Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest for you. He's a third year computer science student who is going to share his academic journey with us and the experience. So without further ado, let's start this video. Good morning, sir. Good morning, indeed. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Can you a little bit introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, I am, uh, my name is Honore Kayumba. I am a third year computer science student. I'm doing software development at the Namibia University of Science and Technology. All right. And uh, I am also uh, the lead at uh, the Google Developer Student Club. So that's pretty much about myself. Ah, okay, all right. So what's um, your motivation to do computer? What motivated you to do computer science in that case? Well, I think that's what motivated me to do computer science. You know, I think that I've always been passionate about technology, and uh, you know, everything that is technology related, I'm like, I'm kind of more interested in it. So I think that was the motivation. I like, I'm very passionate about uh, technology. All right. So what is computer science for you? What is computer science by its definition? Well, I think computer science for me, it's uh, as it say, I can say, uh, computer science is. Uh, like related is a science that is related to machines like computers or technology and uh, you know there is this thing like uh, if you are uh, if you have a friend and you are you know you are chatting with a friend yeah. and then you say that you are doing computer science you know in computer science there is so much field that you can do like career that you can pursue in computer science you can be a cyber security you can be a software development as my side you can be a data scientist you can be uh, a designer as well but when you are talking to someone that you are doing computer science and someone can say oh you also design but yeah it's just about for, for me when i had computer science it's just about computer stuff you exactly know, coding you know those people on the on the youtube videos when they are just coding for me it's just computer science that's computer science exactly but someone can be can do uh, computer science but like not everything computer science, because computer science is a large field you know there is so much things that you can do in it you know there is some people when you say you're doing computer science then it's, it's like oh you can repair machines like you know like <laughs> yeah, i yeah. cannot repair machines yeah. that's not my job i didn't like it's computer science but that's not my job it's oh. hardware so i am focusing in software, software in software and also uh design can be like an extra skill for you but i can, i'm not like uh, like I must be a designer if I'm doing computer science. This is just another career that you can pursue in computer science, oh. and you don't need to maybe to study at the, to have a computer science degree to be a designer or to be a software developer. You know, there is nowadays with the, this technology, you can learn anything online and be a software developer and maybe get just get some certifications so and stuff. So you mean if I learn everything online, I can I can just compete like be on the same level as you guys were. Well. Maybe at the university. I think you can, and uh, you know, uh, everything is uh, the motivation and discipline. Okay. I can be studying computer science as a degree, but I'm not too much serious about it. But someone who is studying computer science or maybe software developer online, you maybe is studying it like a nurse skill can be uh, more like skilled than me, who is not maybe uh, getting or taking what I'm doing like serious, serious. Okay, talking about the degree. You, you said you're a third year student, right? Yeah. So let's see, what are the most challenging uh, courses or modules that you guys have seen? The most challenging things as the expectation that your lecture put on you guys? I think when it comes to modules, yeah. I think that it kind of depends on everyone. Like, you know, uh, there are some modules that I can have basics, like uh, let's say in programming. Some students cannot have basics in programming, but some of the students can have basics in programming. And for them, that should be an easier uh, course for them or a module. But if you do not know the basics, I think that can be a little bit challenging for you. Oh, let's say you are thinking about basics, right? Mm -hmm. So if I want to start doing computer science, or maybe I need to apply as a high school, I've just finished my high school. So what are the course that I need to do or things that I need to know 
for me to be able to do computer science to be like okay i'm going to pursue computer science then i'm going to pass on my modules what are the key uh, modules to know and everything uh i think uh, the key modules that maybe you have to know before uh studying uh, computer science is maybe to focus on uh, maybe have a clear uh, what can i say uh, a clear understanding of what you want to do or what you want to pursue you know you can start computer science and then maybe you know you don't know what you want to do you're just studying just for studying if i can say that and maybe at the end of the day then you end up quitting and that's not good for you yeah i understand what you mean but i'm from high school and then i maybe know math i have some basics in coding is that all i need to do computer science I think that's all. If you have basics understanding of some modules, I think you can do computer science. And, uh, you know, uh, computer science, I think, like, what I'm doing, uh, mathematics is more important, like, uh, problem solving and stuff. So you have to know a, a bit of mathematics because there are some algorithms that you will have to study and stuff, data structure, and, uh, you know, it's all about mathematics. And if you're good in mathematics, I think you are good to go for computer science. So you mean for computer science, I have to be good in mathematics? Yeah, of course, you can be good in mathematics and be good uh, in coding as well. Coding as well. Yeah. If you have basics of coding, I think, uh, and if you put discipline on this, I think you well, can What do you mean by discipline? Thing. Okay, I have this question. Yeah. How do you manage your time uh, knowing all the, ex the expectations that you have as a computer science student? How do you manage your time? As you, as you are a third year student, how did you manage your time? studying and everything how did you do it well uh, and uh, time management is important okay. like and also it kind of depends on how you want to do things or how you are planning to do things you know i have like my study session maybe in the morning someone else can have his study session in the evening so it kind of depends and also there are some uh, personal things that we have to attend to not just schools there is a lot of things that we have to attend to uh, apart from schools okay. like so it kind of depends on you just put maybe uh, notes on maybe a calendar or something that's at this time you have to do this at this time you have to do the end be disciplined like commit to what you are doing commit to your do you, do you, do you have any commitment apart from school what else are you doing uh, apart from school, if I have any commitment about, apart from school, like yeah. if I'm working somewhere, yeah, if you are working or you are doing something else, I am I am a full I am a full time student. Okay. So apart from school, I think maybe just kind of some little businesses like here and there, like kind of. But you uh, mentioned like you are president of uh, what is? Exactly, I'm um, the lead of the Google Developer Student Club at what the Namibia. Uh, the Google Developer Student Club is. Uh, a community, if I can say that, a community of students, and uh, just that offers a peer-to-peer -peer learning. Like we organize some events and uh, call upon students that want to learn about technology, new technology, or maybe we have like some bootcamp about Java, uh, boot coding bootcamp, Android study jam, or maybe some just speaker session where we just call some uh, people in the tech industry. Like, you know, uh, as you say, you, you, I think you asked a question like uh, if I am in high school and I want to pursue a career yeah, in, yeah, in computer yeah. science, like what things that I need to do. So we kind of have this uh, time with some uh, students as well, high school students, university students, with some uh, people in the tech industry. We call them and then maybe they, uh, they tell about their experience, maybe what challenges they faced and what maybe they do what they did about something you know like just to have like uh, a clear understanding on what you have to do or what you're looking for like i can tell you about something because i'm not like more experienced in the tech industry but someone who is more experienced can tell you more about maybe right. what you want to know and maybe with a clear uh, understanding of what you want to know what you want to do oh that's right so from your experience What thing do you wish uh, you did differently from now if you knew it already? Like all the courses, the experience that you have, what do you wish to do differently? Well, I think uh, what I wish to do like, differently is yeah, if, you uh, have to start over. if I have to start over yeah. is get 
as much basic as I could. Like get as much basic as you could. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, uh, you know, there is uh, at a point there is like some modules where it's kind of like new to you. And one important thing is uh, when you're doing computer science, we have to be like, you have to be updated. Like because there there are new technologies that are coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's like. I can say like every day there is something new and you have to know about it, you have to be updated about it. And then if you don't know like about something then you know it's you will be lost in the yeah, yeah, yeah. taking I, I, I have to ask you this this question like what challenging you guys like what what is challenging you to keep up with the new technology such as AI now and the uh, chat GPT? How can a computer science student use chat GPT? Uh, I think with this uh, AI and ChatGPT, uh, you know, uh, most of uh, most people are using it like uh, to solve their problems. Because like, now, for, for now, let's say I have a, have a, have a module for, for instance, is applying programming something like that, and then I have a, an assignment. You can just go and ask ChatGPT, and ChatGPT provide me with a Python code. Is it is, is it that possible now? I think it's possible. I've tried it once, and uh, you have to be careful also, because uh, you have to know. Also, you have to understand codes, because you have, you have like to know how to interpret codes, like a line of codes. What does this line of codes means? Because I've tried it. Like I had some uh, problems, like not uh, related to academic. Like I was just trying to, you know, to be like to practice on my own. Yeah. And uh, I, have, I just uh, take a question online and I paste it on ChatGPT to generate codes. Yeah. But then you have to be careful because not everything ChatGPT can generate is true. There can be some mistake in it. What I, what, 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 what I mean by that is uh, I had that problem. Yeah. I paste it on ChatGPT yeah. to give me solutions. But ChatGPT generate codes. Okay. But the output that I wanted was not the same. Not it was same. a different output, but it generated code. But then if you don't know uh, like what's the problem in the code, then you will not know how to solve it. Like you don't have like to be dependent on ChatGPT. You can use it as a guide or something. Assume Maybe they can use it like to guide them or something like that. Yeah, you can use it like a, a guide or something. But then, but don't put ChatGPT like uh, the center of everything. Like you want to maybe find a solution to something. Yeah. Oh, let me go on ChatGPT. ChatGPT. Yes. No, th this is the easiest way instead of going to Google and everything. You said, okay, I can use just ChatGPT. Obviously, we, we are using ChatGPT. Yes, of course. It's maybe it's the easiest way. Then what's happened to your skills? Like now, if if. Uh, if let, let's say if now uh, there is no ChatGPT, then what will you do in the industry? If you are like uh, dependent on something, like you are so dependent you on ChatGPT, then uh, if uh, let, let me let me tell you something, like you are doing computer science, and then uh, you are in you are maybe working on a project, and uh, you know you maybe you are like too dependent on ChatGPT. But now, now, but then uh, maybe your manager or maybe your director wants you to find a solution to a problem now, like now, and you don't have ChatGPT with you. What will you do? <laughs> I don't know in that case. Exactly. Yeah. Like you, you, have, you have to know what you are doing. Like don't be, uh, of course you can use ChatGPT maybe uh, if maybe you are trying to understand some, uh, some problems, uh, for example. But don't use it as uh, the center of everything, because in situation, in some situation, it will not help you. You will be like, uh, how can I say? It's like uh, a fool or something. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> because if you are too dependent, too much, right? if you are too dependent on ChatGPT, use it maybe as a guidance or maybe a, yeah, a guidance. But okay. don't use it as the center of like everything. Like, you know, uh, yeah. Yeah. What, what is um, in terms of job opportunity, do students graduating from computer science getting jobs? What is the job opportunity that you guys? Uh, for what I have noticed, I think there is uh, there are a lot of job opportunities uh, from someone who graduates in computer science, and you can you know like you can decide to be a freelancer, okay. like you are working on your own. Like I can. <coughs> 
a freelancer by that i mean i can have like i've worked on some uh maybe i'm working on some let's say game let's say i'm a, I'm, a, I'm a game developer then i just uh work on my own games and then i sell them maybe i went to some um, uh, companies and oh oh here are my games so this is what i've done this is what i do so i want you to uh if you're interested to i want you to sell uh to sell like, my products that's kind of a freelancer yes but then if you want to be uh like you want to work on uh in the company then that depends on you like you want to uh drop your cv and stuff to a company and then start working as a permanent maybe i don't know a permanent in the company or something so it's only depend on you like so you if in terms of job opportunities can be a freelancer you can be a what? yeah you can be a freelancer as well and you can be uh like you can work also for someone like in a company it's all like depend on you maybe let's say maybe uh if you have drop and I think, uh, one more thing uh like uh, the reason why you should also not be too much dependent on chat dpt oh, yeah, yeah, is yeah. uh you know in computer science there is too much competition okay. there is a high level of competition and uh you know let's say uh i am in high school now like I am in a school. I want to pursue uh, computer science. I want to pursue a career in computer science, and there is ChatGPT. They say I am relying on ChatGPT, but there is someone who is who maybe studied computer science before ChatGPT, and he has much experience than you. But how will you compete with that person if you are too dependent on ChatGPT? Because that person has a clear understanding of what he's doing. You understand what I mean? Like there is too much, there is too much competition in computer science, and you, as I say, you have to. Always be updated on the new technology. Yes. Okay. Um, what are you studying? I'm studying our software development. Where? At the Nanyang University of Science and Technology. Nasa. Okay. You, are, you said you are studying what? Software development. Software development. Exactly. So, is it software development included in, included in uh, computer science or? Uh, yes. Uh, software development is included in computer science. Like in computer science, there is software development, there is cybersecurity, networking, system administration, and also informatics. What is the advantage of doing uh, software development? The advantage of doing software development? Yeah. Well, I think uh, for me, it's kind of you are uh, like open-minded. Like you can uh, maybe think of something and uh, maybe come up with uh, maybe let's say come up with a product on your own like you are not like too, you are not like limited you know you are free you can think uh, like you know you are uh, just in short you are open minded you are open minded like yeah. what, what are you doing actually i'm studying i don't no, know no no maybe. no in that job like software development what are you doing are you developing some software or what well yes you can be uh um, you can be a, uh, a game developer or maybe an Android or iOS developer. So it only depends like, on you. And uh, you don't have like, to develop. Uh, software development is not only, like, uh, only about uh, developing uh, software. Yeah. So there is also too much thing that you can do in software development. You can also maybe, uh, maybe you you finish in computer science, then maybe your job is to uh, update uh, systems. Like there is a product, then we have to work on the updates. Like kind of think what we have to improve on the product that maybe was created by someone else. So that can also be your job. All right. What is your future plan after? Well, my future plan after graduating, uh, like, I will continue with uh, my studies. I will do uh, honors in uh, software development. So I want also to pursue. I want also to have uh, a master degree, and uh, also I'm kind of uh, interested in uh, cybersecurity and robotic. Like, uh, if I have the opportunity to do either of them, then I will pursue, I will also pursue a degree in robotic or cyber security as well. Alright, if you want to tell somebody who is doing uh, computer science for the first year one or even the second year one, what would be your tips and advice to them in this AI generation? Well, my advice to them would be uh, to 
be disciplined, committed to what you are doing, and be serious as well. Yes. All right. Thank you. We appreciate you. Bro. Thank you so much. It's Please, always a pleasure uh, to make, make, make sure make sure that you subscribe. You like this video. I know that you you like this video. Make sure that you subscribe. Please. See you next time. Ciao.